the East half, third place, and I thought you were the fastest uh, down the home stretch. Uh, you couldn't find a hole? I was a bit annoyed because there was a gap and the girl that came second um, cut me up. And I'm very frustrated. I feel that I could have come through. You know, and had there not been a gap, I would have gone round the outside of the Russian and tried that way. But there was a gap, and she uh, closed it off, which I'm not sure is really fair. So and I thought there was pushing too, right? Or she pushed us? Yeah, she pushed me, and I think in the last 80 meters, that's unacceptable. I think uh, you should hold your line, and she didn't. So, bit so, <laughs> so how tough was uh, after the World Championship 2011 with silver medal, and then 2012, and maybe the beginning of this year? Um, I, I, last year was very disappointing with injury and uh, to come back and come fourth in the World Championships this year was, was really amazing. I think uh, fourth is really, really good. Sure, I wish that there was a medal for fourth, but uh, no, it was a wonderful experience and I loved it. And uh, was the motivation still high after you missed the Olympics and you say next year uh, World Championships, you are the silver medalist, the defending silver medalist? Uh, it wasn't actually, it was very hard to train all of 2012 for such a big event and leave feeling disappointed. I was actually very demotivated for a lot of the winter. Um, you know, I managed to keep strong and keep you know, plugging through the work that I needed to do and, uh, you know, it came right in the end. So you think you got still uh, something left in the tank because I thought the, the final was very good and then now you got top three, maybe you should be top two or maybe the win? Yeah, no, I, I do, I'm excited to run Brussels on Friday uh, and then at 800 in Rieti. I think uh, it'd be fun to do those races. Then good luck and thank you. Thank you. Thanks.